Hello and welcome to another Warp Painter Nerd tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be painting some Hormagaunts from the Tyranids Army from Games Workshop from start to finish. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to Goblin Gaming who sent me the miniatures out. If you check the description box down below you'll find a direct link to their web store and you can check out these miniatures and other fantastic miniatures they sell on their web store. I also want to say a huge thank you to Brian for this project. Uh, we decided to come up with an aliens theme look to the Tyranids from the film franchise, so the Xenomorph uh, from the film franchise. It was really difficult to come up with a scheme at first and uh, I struggled for a few days but I got there in the end and this is the result so I really hope you enjoy this tutorial guys. Go get comfortable, grab yourselves a nice hot drink or maybe a nice cold beer and we'll get started with the tutorial. I start off by priming the miniatures using Vallejo's polyurethane primer German Panzer Grey. The reason I'm going for a coloured primer here and in this instance a German Panzer Grey colour is it will save me priming in a neutral colour and then adding a base colour so it actually saves time and it also allows just one thin coat of paint to go on the miniature and on these older Tyranid models the details are not that defined so the less paint you can place on the miniature the better. I'm priming at about 20 psi and about 3 to 4 inches away and I'm just getting a nice smooth even coverage on the miniature. After allowing the prime layer to thoroughly dry I'm coming in with MIG Ammo's Black Wash. This is much better than an acrylic wash as it won't leave pooling and staining behind on the surface of the miniature and it will gather in all of the recesses. So um, enamel washes are generally better than acrylic washes in my personal opinion and that's why I'm using this in this instance. As you can see I'm placing the wash heavily over the miniature just so it gathers in all of the recesses but if there's any area where I don't want the wash I can come in with some odourless uh, turpentine or white spirit and I can remove any of the excess wash on the top surfaces of the miniature and leave the wash behind in the recesses. Vallejo paints generally finish with a satin finish. I want to make sure that the miniature is as matte as possible so I use this fantastic VMS Supplies matte varnish to make sure that the miniatures are nice and matte ready for the dry brushing stage that we're about to do in a moment. Now we're going to dry brush using Vallejo Game Air Sombre Grey. It's important to note that you need to use a good quality dry brush for this. I was using some larger dry brushes on some of the test models I did and I wasn't getting as good results. Here I'm using a Games Workshops or a Citadel dry brush if you like and it's size small. And as you can see I'm very gently brushing the somber grey onto the uh, miniature. I'm not scrubbing at it, I'm just gently brushing backwards and forwards to catch all of the extreme surface detail of the miniature.
We're going to do another dry brush layer. This time we're going to use Vallejo Game Air Wolf Grey. This time I make sure pretty much every single last drop of paint is dry on the brush. It's very crucial with this very light colour that you only ever so slightly feather the brush bristles of the brush onto the miniature and you've removed pretty much all of the paint. We only want to catch, catch those extreme surface details. Here I'm using Vallejo Game Air Black, but you can use any black acrylic paint for this job. And I'm going around all of the extreme recesses of the carapace with the black. And you can see that I'm panel lining with the black here just to make those shadows even deeper than they was before. Now we're going to base coat all the bone areas on the Tyranid Hormagaunts using Zandri Dust. So that's all of the talons and teeth of the Hormagaunts. Later on in the video we're going to be using a contrast paint that's green in colour on the miniature. So it's very important that we base coat the areas that we're going to apply the green with a white paint. You can use any acrylic white paint here, I'm using Vallejo Game Air White uh, but as I say you can use any acrylic white paint here. And I'm just going through all those splits in the flesh of the Hormagaunts and we're just adding some of the white ready to be painted with a green contrast paint shortly. Vallejo Game Air Gory Red is going to be painted on the base. The reason I've gone opted for like a Mars red theme on the bases is that the miniatures are very monotone in colour with uh, all of the grey and the black and I wanted to break up that as much as I possibly could with a splash of colour.
Games Workshop's contrast paint or flesh is going to be painted onto all of those splits in the flesh that was painted in white earlier on. Games Workshop Shade Paint Seraphim Sepia is going to be painted on all of the bone areas of the miniature. So that's all the talons, the hoofs and also the teeth. Now we're going to create a really nice colour transition from the Xandri Dust and Seraphine Sepia wash area to bone white. So what I do is airbrush the very front, front third of the talons with that bone white from Vallejo Game Air. And as you can see, it leaves a lovely colour transition, which is going to again help break up all of that black and grey on the miniature. Now we're going to use Games Workshop's layer paint Fire Dragon Bright to dry brush over the base. Here I'm using a medium dry brush but you can also still use a small dry brush. And here we have our Tyranid Hormagaunts. These were very straightforward to paint and a huge uh, contrast to how difficult I was painting them before and failing. So sometimes when painting miniature guys, if you're not happy with things, strip them, um, try another model, don't let them beat you guys and you'll eventually come up with a scheme that you're happy with. Uh, lastly, I want to say a huge thank you once again to the great team over at Goblin Gaming who sent me these miniatures out. And again, I'd like to thank Brian for this amazing project uh, for the Tyranids that we're going to be working on. The alien theme is really cool and I can't wait to work on some of the big griblies. Okay guys, uh, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I'll catch you in the next one.